So one of the, the key successes in the case of the Onkermark case study was the role that Des O'Leary played. So we had great technology, we had a great company, um, but what the company lacked was a really experienced CEO and one that was very focused on product development. So when Des O'Leary joined the company, he kind of filled out the gaps that were there in the company. He also was very important in the sense that he gave credibility uh, to the company in the eyes of investors. So the investors felt, well, we're not just investing in a good technology, but we're now investing in a team that's been led by someone who had a track record of taking technologies to market. Uh, and this gave the investors great confidence that this was going to be a success. And when the company then started to get into the early stages discussions with Cepheid, Cepheid also had that same kind of concern. And again, the company took comfort in knowing that its strategic investment in Ankermark was being led and driven by Des O'Leary, again, with that strong track record. So it very much um, sort of augmented the, uh, the expertise that resided in Ankermark at the time and but he brought something extra to it and it was just that little bit extra that really kind of i guess created the the um the success that Ankermark has become as part of ucd strategy um the university wants to see that its research outputs are transferred for wider societal and economic good and the researchers are key to ensuring that that strategic objective is met but not every researcher is going to necessarily become an entrepreneur and, and, and nor should it be that way. But what we've done in UCD is we've developed a number of programs over the years that actually um, gives the researchers uh, access to additional skill sets than he or she would typically have. So many researchers would have gone straight from school into university, have done, let's say, science or engineering, and would never have been exposed to any sort of you know, business subjects. Uh, they would never have been exposed to finance, accounting, marketing. So what we do is we run programs to actually upskill our researchers in these areas. And one particular one that we run is called the Nova UCD Venture Launch Accelerator Program. And that's very much directed towards giving the, the academic team who have, an, who have a really good technology and have a drive and ambition to spin out with that, with that technology to upskill them with, uh, by giving them exposure to the very issues I've just discussed, raising, raising money, raising investment, uh, how to market, how to pitch your idea. And at the end of it then, the output is a business plan. And hopefully that business plan then uh, has been also supported by doing customer discovery. So you're not just having a great technology that no one wants, but you actually have a great technology that's been informed by customer feedback. So that you know, you're know you actually creating something that the market wants, rather than you trying to push out a technology that the market doesn't really need. So all of these programs kind of help our researchers in refining the technology, but also in developing the business idea. And then if those researchers then can be matched with maybe some external people, either an individual initially or maybe with a wider team, you then have a, a perfect fusion of a strong technical team that's commercially savvy, then being matched with people who actually have a strong track record of doing this in the real commercial world. And that makes the whole proposition then of the technology, the team much more investable so that venture capital or other sources of funding will come in and hopefully drive the further development and validation of the technology and lead to a successful outcome.